interesting if you wear a sleep appliance and you're curious if it's working for you. Today, I'm celebrating a major success for one of our patients. He came to us because his wife was going crazy with all the noise she was hearing when he was sleeping and sometimes the noises she wasn't hearing. So we had made her a micro two sleep appliance before for her obstructive sleep apnea and sent, so she sent her husband to us. So today we got his third follow-up sleep study and I want, if you have a sleep appliance that you wear in the mouth or a CPAP, get retested after you've had a chance to get accommodated or acclimated to whatever your device is. Because when we first made him a sleep appliance, it made him marginally better. He started with a certain AHI, RDI, and then we got him to about here. And where we really wanted to get him was what we got today. This is perfect for this man because a, a number of things that we have to also take in consideration is not just the numbers, but he's got some pretty severe dental crowding. Um, so his teeth are crooked. He has tori on the inside and his tongue's tied back. So these numbers are amazing. And I don't want to keep bringing that jaw more forward because we can actually start to go in the wrong direction. Bottom line, you have OSA, make sure you get retested and make sure your doctors are looking at these three things your numbers, what's your mouth look like, and what's your nose look like.